Hey, thanks for catching up uh, with what I'm doing as local MP for Whangarei, obviously my hometown, and also uh, as uh, Minister for Housing and Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture. I've been having a pretty busy time at the moment, uh, particularly uh, around the sort of housing changes that we're making throughout New Zealand. One of the big drives, as many of you will know, is to get insulation um, in every sort of older household right across New Zealand and the Minister of Energy, Jerry Brownlee, um, drove the insulation scheme for private households. But I'm also um, driving it for state houses. We've got 70,000 state houses across the country. Many of them are quite old, pre sort of 1978. In fact, many built in the 50s and uh, many of those in Northland. And out of the um, thousands of state houses in Northland, I'm delighted to say with the insulation program that's been happening over the last few years, we've only got about 109 left to insulate and those will be done um, next year. So in terms of state houses in Northland and the insulation uh, program, we're going to be uh, finishing that next year. Um, only 109 state houses to insulate uh, both in the ceiling and under the floor and um, look it's a pleasure to be able to sort of report that uh, because keeping those sort of families um, warm and dry particularly with kitties who catch sort of winter chills and all the rest of it um, it's an important thing to sort of, of, of uh, driven so that's something that I've been um, busy with in the sort of fisheries and aquaculture front uh, many of you will know that we got you know clearly a beautiful coastline uh, it's a place where we all sort of fish and water ski and um, get out on the beaches but it's also a valuable resource in terms of exports and um, we've got sort of commercial fishing offshore uh, which I sort of keep a close eye on to make sure that we um, fish appropriately not too much uh, but enough to provide income for New Zealand and local northland jobs but there's also a place there for marine farming not in every bay uh, clearly not in those sort of bays where we use a lot for yachting and our own sort of fishing and that type of thing but but uh, Northland has a tremendously um, long coastline many isolated areas uh, many places perfect for marine farming and I want marine farming to go ahead in Northland it means jobs uh, it means our youth uh, having an opportunity to stay and get involved in an in industry in Northland and not leave uh, it also means uh, jobs onshore because it's not just out on the water uh, marine farming, it's also in processing onshore and of course jobs in exporting as well. Um, so it's very important that we promote this and, and that's something that I'll be pushing for Northland uh, and right across New Zealand in the future. In terms of Whangarei developments, I've been obviously up uh, every week towards the back of the week over the last six months watching very closely the progress of State Highway 1 uh, through town, Western Hills Drive. Um, that uh, Camo Bypass is coming to completion, which I'm delighted about, and the roading improvements right through Western Hills Drive and the exit south out of town sort of around Otaika. So I'll be reporting on that uh, in the near future. Uh, but as I say, thank you very much for ca catching up with me uh, today. It, it's a delight to be a uh, Member of Parliament for Whangarei. And um, you know this election, clearly, uh, I'm putting up my hand and want to continue uh, to, to be in that role.